Hi everyone, my name is Moin and I'm going to guide you through to a process in which you can get the data from the website into the SQL Server Studio by using the SSIS and HTTP web request modules. In this demo, we are going to take the URLs from a flat file and we are going to import the data based upon that URL. I mean, we're going to crawl that URL or scrap that URL or index that URL, whatever most of you call it. And we are going to import the text. We are going to extract the text and import it into the web, into our SQL Server database. So let's get started in terms of that. I've already got SQL Server installed on this machine, which is SQL Server 2008. And if I go, I've got a database set up already in here, excuse me, which is called uh, scrappers. And I've got the tables in there as well, which doesn't have any tables actually. <laughs> right, so I'm just going to go ahead and create a new table with the name of, I mean, first I'm going to create columns actually. I'm going to name it as integer, just going to put it as a primary key, save it as URL. Change the data type to 50 and over here it's gonna change the identity to this column to identity. Right, so in the table we've already got our identity column which is an auto number, just putting it over there. I've got uh, my URL field which has got, which will get the URLs, the links, the hyperlinks which are being crawled and I've got my description text which is basically the text that will be crawled from the web page or scrapped from the web page. Right, so I'm just going to save this and I'm going to name it table table web scrap. So if I'm just going to close it and if I do select the star from, I think I've already Yep, it's got nothing over there. That's fine. Uh, the table is empty at this point and we've got nothing in there. Right. So what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to close the, uh, leave this open and I'm going to go back to my bits studio, which I've already loaded. And I'm going to create a new project, integration services project. And the directory, which I'm going to choose is website scrapping, select. I'm going to call it scrap web project. Click on OK. And there we are with our packages and data sources and everything. Just for as a reminder, this is an intended demo or tutorial for those who are already familiar with uh, Business Intelligence Studio developments and who know how to work on the Business Intelligence Studio. Right, so I'm going to name my package like Right, I've named it as website scrapping for now. That should do it. Right, if I come back to the control flow, I've just got a sequence container which I've just dragged and dropped and I'm just gonna name this container as something. So I've named it as DTF get web text. Basically containers in SSIS are used to, I mean, and the sequence containers are used to store the logical diagrams and the logical workings of how the package is going to be executed in terms of uh, you can enable them, you can disable them, you can activate them. If I just click on disable, it will be disabled. Think of them like group boxes in simple layman's term. Right, okay. So once we've got that, I'm just going to use a data flow task, drag it inside my sequence container. I'm going to name it Go in there. Right, so we've got our DTF web scrap task as well. If I double click on this, it will take me to the data flow or alternative, you can go to the data flow over here as well and choose which data flow you want from this drop down. Right, so we're in the data flow. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a flat file or a text file, which I've already got here, 
with the name of website list and it's got the list of all the websites in there which are supposed to be crawled so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to come out of this text file just sort of normal text file one kilobyte text file you're going to have it as a different list or whatever right i'm going to use a flat file source and i'm going to call it as flt src and let's say the name of our website lists so they would help me distinguish later on what i'm doing okay so we have got our flat file source and we don't have any connections at this point so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go ahead and create a new connection which is basically a flat file connection and just gonna give it a time this is the version of the dll and we've got the program files and everything over there i mean where it's stored actually i'm just gonna click on add to add it and it will give me right i'm just named it i'm gonna browse and i'm gonna go to my website scrapping module Ah, sorry the folder and I'm gonna choose the website list from here which is a text file and once you click on open it's automatically gonna, gonna detect the changes or the things which are in the file it's detected it as on NC Latin 1 and 1252 is the code page basically I mean you can change this as well if you've got like different sort of uh, inputs in terms of your language recognition or other ASCII character stuff right and I'm gonna leave the things as they are for now and just continue with the columns let's have a look on the columns right as we've already got like one column so it's picked up that column over here you can also have multiple columns as well but I'm not gonna go into the details it calls it as column zero which I don't really like actually so I'm just gonna change it as links that should be fine and the other things I'm gonna leave it as it is I'm just gonna preview it so it's changed it to links now looks much better actually click on ok so you've got your sci-fi connection over here right now what i'm going to do is bind this connection to the flat file source uh, binding means i'm just going to give it the connection details so that it knows that where to take the data from so i'm just going to double click on it and already there's only one connection so it's highlighted by default i'm going to click on the columns and i'm going to have a look i mean it already picks up the columns by default and it's picked up this column we already have one column so we've got one column if you've got more columns it will appear over here actually okay and if i click on ok now that should be fine as we don't see any red check boxes so it means that it's working fine right uh in terms of moving ahead forward i'm just gonna use a little thing over here which is called script component I'm just gonna drag and drop it and it asks me that which sort of script component do i want to use i'm gonna go ahead with the transformation so i'm just gonna because basically we're just gonna take a column with the name of links in and we are gonna crawl that column by using a custom routine and we are going to output another output column which you'll just see in a minute and with the name of the script or whatever so i'm gonna click on ok 